I rise today in support of the Support Act. This bill is about offering hope to those in despair, those battling substance use disorder, their families and loved ones, and the health care workers and law enforcement officers who need continued support to help save lives. Since 2020, overdose deaths have surged to more than 100,000 lives lost per year. Today, illicit fentanyl poisonings are now the number one cause of death among adults aged 18 to 49. And my home state of Washington has seen the greatest increase in drug overdose and poisoning deaths nationwide in the past year. The House took a critical step to help get illicit fentanyl off our streets in passing the Holt Fentanyl Act earlier this year. Now we're moving forward with this legislation to increase support for individuals suffering from substance use disorder and to help make sure they receive the treatment they need. H.R. 4531, the Support for Patients and Communities Reauthorization Act, modifies and reauthorizes key programs that expand access to substance use disorder prevention, treatment, and recovery. Specifically, this bill increases treatment options for intensive inpatient care, allows law enforcement to crack down on illicit xylazine distribution, and continues support for at-risk youth among many other important provisions. A big thank you to Kristen Flukey and Seth Gold from the Energy and Commerce Committee staff for their dedicated work on this legislation. I'm hopeful that by reauthorizing programs with proven success and increasing access to treatment, we can address the troubling trend in drug-related deaths, saving lives and restoring hope and healing to those who need it. I yield back.